Hello beautiful people, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Oh, I thought I left. I was looking for my camera stand, I thought I left it in here. Um, I actually had a day lapse in between Vlogmas because I had the craziest day yesterday with work. And if I'm honest, I'm struggling trying to like film Vlogmas at the same time. Um, because filming is a lot, especially when you're just trying to get like your normal daily uh, thing going. I have no idea what I did with that thing for my camera. Um, anyway, t yesterday was like absolutely busy. It was a complete gong show. And I just, I didn't get, I, sorry, I did pick up my camera, but I literally picked it up to film lunch and say hi. And then completely forgot it after that. So, needless to say, <laughs> I, uh, I just, I was like, you know what? To hell with it. I'm just going to pick up where I left off and uh, do things <laughs> tomorrow. So that's why, exactly why, one of the other reasons I try and leave a gap in between some of my videos and filming and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day today and then, yeah, we'll just continue on. Okay guys, so today is uh, Saturday in my world <laughs> and uh, I'm just super casual today because it is just at home and uh, I have to work unfortunately today. I, I say unfortunately loosely, like I love my work, but I would like some time, some downtime. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do some work today. Sean's actually at work as well uh, today. And uh, then after that, it's just gonna be like errands and laundry <laughs> and nothing very, uh, nothing very exciting. So uh, comfort's the name of the game. What I'm wearing are two necklaces that you guys have seen a few times now. These are from the brand Kuchara, they're Canadian. Oops, these are kind of tangled. Um, but there's a cross and then like a dog tag there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Anyway, uh, I have on this cropped sweatshirt that you guys have seen a few times now. I just, I really love like the mint color of it. I just think it's so, so cute. And I, again, I like seeing color in the midst of, you know, fall and winter and all, all those good things. Just think it feels a little bit more fresh. And then on the bottom, excuse Jenny, <laughs> uh, on the bottom, Sorry, my pants are looking kind of funny. Um, I'm just wearing some straight wide leg jeans. These are from Zara and they're super, super long. They kind of come over the end of the jean. Normally I would wear them with like a boot, um, but and I, they kind of have like frayed denim on the end. But this so reminds me of something I kind of wore in high school back in like the 90s and I don't mind the fray. I also don't mind that it sort of sits on the ground or close to. Uh, I don't know, it's just giving me all the vibes. It's very comfortable as well. <laughs> and then my hair is just in a top knot because, well, it was a bit of a greasy mess. So up, up it went and then a bold lip because it just makes me feel good. I'm gonna take some time and film a Q and A for you guys because I know I promised that last year and then I never even got around to it just because this vlog was kind of took over. And I wanted to make sure I at least got that done for you guys this year so I didn't forget. So that's what I'm going to do oops, now, um, which is part of my work day today. And I'm also just wanting to cross that off my list so I can get some of the paperwork and uh, other things done that I need to get done because I have a few color analysis things left to do. So I'm going to sit down with you guys in my living room and film that now. I also need to like tidy look. I've got like all my books everywhere, <laughs> one of Charlie's sweaters. So one of the things I actually don't like about having like all the multi books on our uh, like living room table, it just feels like a bit, like we like the eclectic feel, like obviously with like the gallery wall and the funky chairs and pillows and that kind of stuff. And I thought I would like like the multi stack books cause I've seen it in other like Pinterest uh, photos and I've seen it in uh, like other Instagram photos for house inspo and I really like it. But the reality of it is Sean and I do leave stuff on our coffee table, as I'm sure a lot of people do, and it just starts to feel messy really quickly. And uh, anyway, that's like a whole other, whole other ramble. All right, I'm gonna film my Q and A, and I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. It's white outside. Night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes. Yes, it's Christmas. 
Hello, beautiful loves. <clears throat> it was a, it was a work day today. It's five o'clock, so I left you guys for quite a while. Um, but I'm just sitting down and wanted to actually show you a planner I just picked up because you guys know I'm a bit of a stationary geek. And uh, beyond that, I know a lot of you have had questions for me about my productivity, like how I get so much done. Um, and a lot of it honestly has been habit. I do use planners and love them. And actually there's a book I read recently that I highly recommend you pick up as well called The One Thing. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. And uh, anyway, it basically gets you to pare down and simplify a lot in your life so that you can focus on like the one main thing that needs to get done every day. Cause there's always going to be like little things more or less. But if you're focusing on the big rocks, let's say, of your life, right? And the big things that you need to get done on a daily basis, rather than getting distracted by all the little things, it makes life and your work a lot easier to navigate. And that doesn't mean you're not gonna have days that aren't overwhelming or anything like that. Um, but you become more effective and a, a, a high performer in your work, whether you own a business like myself or you are working for somebody else. Um, and you're still like, constantly pushing the needle forward. That's overly simplifying the book. There's so much goodness in it, so I highly recommend you pick it up. Uh, but I wanted to show you a planner that they had recommended in there. Now, I use my Louis Vuitton planner. I'm just gonna sit on the floor here for a sec. Um, I use my Louis Vuitton planner, and uh, I've loved that. This is not high enough. Hold on. I need to prop you guys up on some books here. <laughs> Hold on. What was I gonna say? Anyway, so they, I made a, sorry, I use my Louis Vuitton planner. I love it. I will show all of you that if you want to see like the inserts and stuff that are in it. I know I used to make a lot of LV agenda videos back in the day, um, and I'm not going to abandon that, but I was very uh, curious about this planner that uh, the creators of The One Thing had recommended, and that is this one. I know you're not gonna be able, it's very bright, obviously, but this is called the High Performance Planner. Uh, Sean picked up one, up one as well and I'm so intrigued by it and I love like journaling prompts and things that just get you thinking and embodying your highest and best self because I feel like that's a incredibly powerful exercise and one that you know can never be taken for granted like we can always remind ourselves of our you know, priorities and, and what it is that we truly desire for ourselves to bring us back to focus. So this planner is done by Brendan Bouchard. He's an author as well. And I thought I would show you guys the insides of this as to why I was uh, like curious about it, if you will. So let me show you some insight. Okay, so when you open it up, like there's intro pages and whatnot, but they interestingly have this whole life assessment. So from your health, your mental, emotional state, family, friends, mission, experiences, and it gets you to rate things on a scale of one to 10. And it does the same thing for high performance habit assessments. So you can sort of rate how you believe you are doing, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and then on an everyday basis, what I like, is that it asks you to create a message to yourself, which I think is incredibly powerful. And obviously when you're having kind of crappy days, this might be harder to come up with, but you know, these could be really great affirmations for yourself or things that you need to sort of send to yourself back to why you're doing the things that you're doing, which I thought was great. And then it also leaves room for today's top goals and priorities. This alone has changed my life. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before, but writing down the three things I have to get done brings me back to focus. And then that way, if I can't get the little stuff done, that's fine. There will always be more to do at work, right? Uh, but I know that I can tackle them later on or when I get more of a spare moment. And then it's got this morning mindset done. And you guys know I love my morning routine. So I love that it says uh, someone who needs me on my A game today. So it's again coming from a place of service or someone I could surprise with a note, gift, or sign of appreciation is. One thing I could do today that is a little outside of my comfort zone is to, you know, blank, 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 right? You can fill these out. So anyway, I love all of these questions that they have here as things to go through um, and prompt yourself with in the morning, which I think is really powerful. And then it leaves room for your schedule from 6 a.m., which is great for an early riser like me, brings you right down till noon and then you've got all the spot for notes because sometimes it's so frustrating to have the agendas that are like super small. And then you have the whole afternoon and the evening because it goes till 7.30. 
Uh, and then on the other side, it's got tasks that absolutely must need to be done today, persons or person that I need to lead or connect with today and how to do it well. So again, more room for notes. And then it gives you a reflection section in the evening journaling. So a situation or task I could have handled better today was, I could have made today even better if I, right? Like these are such good prompts to just go over and look at every day and evaluate how you showed up on your daily basis and how you can improve. So it's constantly looking at how can I be better, strive for better, strive for excellence, strive to be outstanding, which I thought was lovely. And then this portion, the daily habit scorecard, um, you know, you can, and those were kind of based on that previous page. Like you can kind of score how you believe that you've done today. So it does that every single day, which I thought was really cool. And then what I also appreciated about this was, um, at the end of a week, I believe it is, or is it a month? No, at the end of a week, it gives you a weekly, weekly, sorry, learning review. So three great things that helped me last week were, the main struggle I faced this past week was two things I learned about myself this week include like it's just so good for constant self-reflection and assessment to again see how we can clean up our side of the street make sure that we're always holding ourselves responsible for our success because we are the only ones responsible for that and then you're doing like a weekly life review which I think is powerful uh, which you kind of did at the beginning of this uh, this book which I thought it's just it's so cool and then it had, I'm not sure why I didn't have it at the beginning of the book. Hold on, let me see if I can find the page for this. Oh, here we go. Uh, a section for a month at a glance. I don't know why they didn't put it at the beginning of this book, which seems kind of like a missed opportunity for me, but it, uh, or for them, sorry. But they've got uh, major projects here, major events, and then of course you can fill it out, and then you can have room for things that must get done, major deadlines, the best way I can prepare and ensure that I show up to win this month. And I would feel like I'm living my best life this month if. So I just think that's so, like, it's such a powerful little agenda. And believe it or not, like, this little monkey is only two months. So you would need, because again, there's so much reflection in here and they leave room for that. So you would need to buy, obviously, more than one. And of course, you would go through them relatively quickly. So I am... I'm actually someone that does really enjoy like journaling every single day. I use my agenda every single day. And that doesn't mean that I don't have an electronic calendar. Like I use Google Calendar as well, just for like major appointments uh, and things like that. So it can sync with my phone. That's the only reason I use that. But like my daily tracking and things that I wanna do goes in my actual uh, agenda. So I'm actually really looking forward to trying this. If you guys are interested in how I make out with this, cause I don't know if you guys care or not, then you can comment down below and uh, let me know. And then if you guys want to see um, a morning routine that's based around like my productivity, why I do the things that I do, and kind of how I actually go through my morning, then also comment down below and let me know. I never know whether to make these videos because again, it's like my channel's obviously predominantly fashion based, so I don't want to alienate uh, you guys with stuff that's like so far outside my content. And that's why I only tend to do vlogs at Vlogmas and just make the exception throughout the month of December. Um, just because I feel like for most part people, I don't know, I go by like what you guys are obviously clicking and opening. And uh, some of the other stuff outside of fashion you're obviously not as interested in. So uh, you guys can let me know about that. Uh, and if there's a larger interest, then of course I will, I will get making that. I will get making that. I will make that for you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm really looking forward to uh, to giving it a try. So I'll leave this uh, planner in that book, like I said, uh, down below. And then a couple of you had also asked that I do a book list of books that I'm enjoying. So uh, I can also put something like that together for you guys as well, if you like. Or I can do a video. I don't know. You guys let me know what you prefer. Uh, anyway, now that it's the end of the day, poor Sean still hasn't gotten home already. Anyway, we both had longer days, but him, he's obviously having a very long day today. They're getting near like the closing of a, a job for his work. So when it's like that, his hours tend to stray and get a little bit longer, unfortunately for him. But he'll be home soon and we're just gonna keep it easy tonight. We're gonna make a uh, spaghetti squash marinara for dinner. So I'll, before I picked up the camera with you guys again, I'd actually just quickly run out to the grocery store and I just picked up some spaghetti squash. And uh, we had some leftover tomato sauce because Sean likes to make sauce uh, from scratch and we like our spicy. 
because uh, his background's Portuguese and they like their spice, which is great. And I've come to really love it as well because my background's Polish and British and there is no spice in, uh, in that world whatsoever. So it took me some time to adopt some spice, but I absolutely love it. And now I'm like, how can people not like spice? Like it's just so, adds and provides so much flavor to food. So we're gonna have like a spicy spaghetti squash marinara. Like it's excellent. And then I picked up a bottle of wine. And yeah, I think it's just gonna be a bit of a chill, like chill night. My weeks felt like overwhelming. Uh, overwhelming just in like trying to film, trying to get like my normal work done. <laughs> And just trying to think ahead for what I want to do for the new year because I like to put a lot of thought into that and just like my teachings and everything else like it's been a great week but just one of those weeks where like your head's spinning a little bit and because I work today as well I'm just feeling like I need to woo saw a little bit so it might be a night of like reading or maybe a movie or something maybe a Christmas movie might be kind of good yeah I don't know oh I did want to show you guys though I found the most amazing candles. I know I have like the Diptyque advent calendar going. Oh, that is like terrible lighting, hold on. But I wanted to show you a small business I stumbled upon through another Instagram account. And the owner of this little shop is phenomenal. She is such a sweetheart and she makes the most beautiful, beautiful candles from, I think it's soy if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to like, Butcher. I was just grabbing them out of my cupboard. I've got one of hers uh, burning already, but they are so glam. I love them. It's such a vibe, her candles. Uh, so her company is called My Secret Scent. I'm gonna leave them listed down below. It's not a sponsored thing or anything. I just, I truly, truly love her small business. And um, she's just, it's such a like, luxury, glamour, women empowerment kind of vibe, like her business. I just love it. So this is, her candles are pure soy wax, cotton wick, and it's a, a fragrance and essential oil mix. Are you guys ready for this? Look at that. So it says money, for like money vibes. If you wanna have some money vibes as like an entrepreneur, you wanna call that more into your life. I thought this was really, really cool. I don't know why it's trying to focus on my face and not the candle. How annoying, there we are. But isn't that beautiful? Like look at that gold, oh my God. And, like, the smell is unbelievable. It's definitely sweet, so if you're not a sweet candle lover, then you probably wouldn't like the scent. But I've purchased multiples from her because they, all of them have, like, a different vibe. And they come in different colors, too. Like, it's not all gold. Like, uh, one, because I just placed another order with her. Uh, I got one that was, oh, what was it called? Sapphire or something? Anyway, she has, like, little descriptions for all of her candles. It's really cool. Oh no wait, this is the money one too. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so I have another one that's Empress. You guys are gonna think I'm candle nuts, but I go through them really fast. <laughs> so her other one that I just burnt, or started burning not too long ago, uh, is the one that's called Boss, which I love as well. And this one's sweet too, but less sweet than money. Um, and then the other one I have is Empress, which I can't remember if I just said or not. Um, but this one I started, two weeks ago and like look it's like we're getting down there <laughs> so I haven't got much left of it but I will say they last a long time I think they're 80 hours per candle I think she says so I I often leave that like just burning through the day because it makes the house smell so lovely I love her candles anyway so if you guys want to support some small business and uh, you like the vibe of her candles like honestly you cannot go wrong she does such a beautiful job and I don't know her personally, but just from chatting with her through Instagram for orders, uh, when I was placing an order with her, uh, she was just such a wonderful soul, such a wonderful soul. And like I said, I think it's really important to support small business, uh, especially right now, like consider doing your shopping that way rather than like Amazon and Nordstrom and all those places. Like there's nothing wrong with obviously those bigger brands, but you know, a lot of people have been out of work this year and are trying something new or experimenting something new, and I don't know if that's her case, but I just think for that reason, it's really important to support small, right? Like, yeah. And I think, obviously, I have more of a heart for that because I'm a small entrepreneur or small business as well, so my heart goes out for people that, like, you know, have brick and mortar, especially, and, like, they haven't been able to work this year. Like, I can't imagine 
Like there's so many people, like they were saying with everything that's going on, like the amount of people that are like starving now and like food banks are going nuts and everything else. Like I just, my heart breaks for everybody. Like it really, really does. So anyway, it's all, if we can, if you can, if you're able to, to support small, I think it's just a good thing to do this year. So anyway, I wanted to share just because, like I said, I love, I have like a whole candle cabinet up here. Sorry, it's gone kind of dark. It's like, it drives Sean nuts because I have so many candles and he's like, when are you going to burn them all? But I always do. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> all right, I am, uh, I think, going to sit down with a book for a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's get a glass of wine. It's not quite five, or is it five? Did I say it was five? Oh, no, yeah, it's quarter after five right now. Uh, yeah, let's have a glass of wine. Curl up with a book. Okay, guys, I've got a glass of wine. Fire's been started, and my favorite person's home. <laughs> and the little fluff ball as well. He's curled up with Sean. And actually, I'm, well, I'm just... Uh, prepping some dinner for us but while that's getting going I'm actually going to pick up my book 5 a.m. club and continue reading this now that I'm I'm about halfway I have to say I do like it better than what I did <laughs> I, I yeah the start of the story I found really bizarre or not really bizarre I personally just didn't like how it was written and uh, the story's better and now just like obviously getting to the point of why you picked up the book in the first place. But uh, yeah, now that I'm in there, I'm enjoying it. I just had to get through that first part. And I will say for me, it took about like 50-ish pages to get in, which I know is a lot, but it's worth it now. I actually really, I quite enjoy it. Or was it 50 pages? Is that exaggerating? That might be exaggerating. Just looking back. No, it was probably... It was around like 30 pages, which I know is like a decent amount, but yeah, I do, I do enjoy it. So I'm going to sit with my glass of wine and read for a bit. Hi, Charlie. Look. Hey, buddy. Are you so comfortable with Papa? Are you so comfortable with Papa? Oh. You coming to see me instead? Hi, handsome. I love you so much. Got your sweatshirt on? Yes, thank you so much. He's just had his dinner. Feeling good? Yeah, you're such a guy. I love you. <laughs> Okay, my loves, dinner is complete, and I thought, before I forget, <laughs> that we could do the advent, so let's do that now. And for day 14, I feel like it's gonna be somewhere in the middle here. Oh, is this it here? No, no, that's four. 11, 16. Oh, no, it's this tall one over here. All right. This one, ooh, it's different. Oh, this is a shower oil. Oh, lovely. That's really nice. What scent is that? L'ombre? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, but beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna see what this smells like. So I don't know if I've had this in like a scent yet. Ooh, that's really strong. Actually, this would be nice to dump a little bit into a bubble bath. That would be really pretty. Very nice. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave that here. Okay, and then for the tea. Uh, oh, look at that. First turn around and there we are. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is so much harder than it looks with one hand. <laughs> okay, so 
It says, we donate to the Point Foundation with each pack of everyday brew we sell and match all donations made on our website. So far, we've raised over 250,000 pounds. That's awesome, so cool. Okay, so this is their everyday brew they were talking about, a morning glory. I wonder if this has caffeine in it then. It might. All right, let's give it a go. at all <laughs> I'm not southern okay so this tea to me smells like a almost like just like an English breakfast tea yeah tastes exactly like that this is like I'm gonna actually put milk in a little bit of stevia in this because I would prefer it that way um, but yeah really really good another another good one this like advent doesn't fail to disappoint or sorry, doesn't disappoint. <laughs> I think I said that wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. Like I have a list of things that I want to purchase from them now, which obviously is the point, but I really like so impressed with their teas. It's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, so Sean and I are just chilling. We've had dinner and we're kind of mentally planning out what we want for groceries tomorrow because Sunday we do our grocery shopping. And uh, Sean's gonna make a keto shepherd's pie tomorrow for dinner that he found online from that website that I, I told you guys about. It on, the line. on the line. Actually, a lot of people said they understood that that came from uh, the internship or they were laughing at that. But, uh, I don't understand what's funny. Well, because it made them laugh, the memory of it. I know, but it's on the line. What is funny about it? <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so uh, the recipe that we were, like, he's going to make tomorrow the keto one is from Low Carb Maven. She has so many excellent recipes on there for like keto or just low carb in general in case you guys are interested. And that was also where I got that quiche recipe that I know so many of you enjoy. So go like, go check that out. Um, but I think this is gonna be a chill night. Like Sean, I haven't really had any downtime today. And I know he's pretty pooped from his work day and I'm feeling kind of pooped too. And for me especially, tell me if you guys get like this too, but once I have like a cup of tea in hand, I don't know, there's this sort of like calm that comes over the day and I get sleepy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm tired anyway because actually last night, which I told you guys I didn't film because I was like just running behind in Vlogmas, but um, we were here most, most of the day yesterday, like it was a work day, but, uh, and it was busy, like super busy as well. Um, but we actually went to go see Paula and Shemek last night just for a game night with the four of us. And that was really fun, but we were back later. Um, but anyway, it was fun. So yeah, anyway, I think I'm actually gonna leave you guys here. It might be a shorter vlog today, but honestly, I really just wanna relax and just have some time like off camera and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon and back. Thank you for hanging out with me and briefly Sean and Charlie, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. But every child Got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas